Hi and welcome to 3D Printing Geek. My name is Tom and this time I'm going to show you some very interesting prints you can do for Halloween to decorate your home and have some fun. Some of the prints are very easy to do, so you can finish them within half an hour or an hour and some prints require some work to make them look great. We start with... This is the first print I want to show you. Cute little ghosts which you can scale down or up to the size you want them and I printed them using white PLA and did nothing else with them. They uh, came out of the printer like you see them. I just removed some of the stringing which occurred and that's all. You also could use glow in the dark filament so that these little ghosts uh, make a nice appearance even when you darken your room. Aren't these little ghosts cute? Look at them. And you can scale them to any size you want, so you can have a whole family of ghosts printed on your 3D printer and put them somewhere in your house to have some nice Halloween decoration. Would you like to know more? <laughs> These nice fingers and I haven't finished them yet. Uh, what I need to do is to paint uh, with a little bit of red color here so that it looks as if the finger was ripped off a hand. And I also printed it in a smaller size which uh, still has to be done some work on. But just use some acrylic paint and you're good to go with some brushes. That's one of the easiest ways to color your prints the way you want it. Would you like to know more? The next easy print I want to show you, as easy as uh, the fingers, but it might take a little bit longer, are these demon hands. And uh, I finished one of them, also using uh, acrylic color. I mixed some of the colors together to get a blend of color I wanted to. I think this print took about three hours or so, depending on the print settings you use. And you can stick them to a door so that it looks as if they come out of the door. To color the hand I use some brown acrylic color and I mix it uh, with some green. And for the fingernails I will use some of my black acrylic color. Would you like to know more? And here's the next print which takes also a little bit longer than the hands, but uh, it's Mrs. Death and I sanded it down to get rid of some of the layer lines 
I used filler spray and I also um, glued the hand which is printed separately to the arm and I also painted the face white and now you can greet your guests which come to your house with Mrs. Dad. Would you like to know more? The next print I want to show you is a little bit more complicated. But it looks awesome. I love it. And look at this nice Halloween tree. Isn't it lovely? I used wood peel A to print the tree and uh, my usual white peel A to print the um, pumpkins. And I painted some of the pumpkins with orange and green to make them look like real pumpkins. And I also added uh, some electronics inside of the bigger pumpkins, which I scaled up before printing, and put some flickering LEDs inside of them with a battery housing. Cabling is running through the branches of the tree and then going to the LEDs. Also included a switch on the back so I can turn it off and on. And according to the current I measured, uh, it should last for a lot of hours until the batteries are bad and the lights uh, go off. Because uh, with the resistors I put in series to the LEDs, they only draw about one milliamp. So that should be enough for a lot of hours of fun. One thing to do is to glue the battery housing somewhere inside of the tree. If you download that model from Thingiverse and print it, it's not hollow. So to make it hollow, I used uh, 3D Builder and I use the function uh, to make the tree hollow so that I could put my battery housing inside of it. I also cut the bottom uh, of the tree so that I could put my electronics inside. Would you like to know more? This is the Spectacular Spider Transformer Pumpkin. And I will show you how to build it. Would you like to know more?
And here comes my personal number one. Yeah. In head. Still missing some painting and of course the pins. So before I put in the pins I will I think this looks already very good and now we have to put in the pins I have a candle to heat up the tips of the pins Would you like to know more? If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, also give me your thumbs up and write down your comments in the comment section. I'm curious to read it. Happy Halloween to all of you. <laughs>